It might sound unbelievable, but we're closer to 2050 than 1980. Oi. And though the 80s may be ancient, for some of us, they're alive in our souls. We're back in the 1980s, with its parachute pants, aerobic workouts, and ridiculous hair. World population? Just under 4.5 billion. 1980. An average house costs $47,000. The Rubik's Cube debuts internationally. Originally, the Rubik's Cube was named Magic Cube. Post-it notes hit the stores in the USA. The original yellow color of the notes was chosen by accident. The team only had yellow scrap paper. The Empire Strikes Back reaches theaters. It's a rare example of a sequel that transcends the original movie. Queen releases their eighth album, The Game. The album is Queen's only one to reach number one in the USA. The international release of Pac-Man. Pac-Man was developed by a Japanese company who wanted to create a game that would appeal to women. 1981. The yearly cost to attend Harvard is just $10,000. The first London Marathon takes place with more than 7,000 participants. In 2019, over 42,000 people participated. The first space shuttle mission. NASA launched a new craft into space to see if it would return to Earth. It did. The successful mission lasted two days and six hours. Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark reaches theaters. During the shooting breaks for the movie, Steven Spielberg wrote a script that later became E.T. the Extraterrestrial. The Royal Wedding of Lady Diana Spencer and Prince Charles. The ceremony was watched by 750 million people all over the world. The dawn of MTV, the first 24 hours music channel. It launched in the United States at 12.01 a.m. with the words, ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. 1982, a one liter bottle of Coke costs 99 cents. Cold Sunday. That day, cold air from Canada covered most of the USA and set cold temperature records in many places. Princess Diana gives birth to a son. Diana wanted to name him William, but Charles rooted for Arthur. Although the prince was named William, Arthur is his middle name. Invention of the first emoticons. A computer scientist suggested a combination of punctuation marks to express emotions in an email. The first CD player is released. It appeared in Japan and could hold up to 1 hour and 20 minutes of audio. Michael Jackson releases his sixth album, Thriller. He wanted to make an album where every song would be awesome. Thriller became the best-selling album of all time. The first artificial heart is implanted in a person. It's a device that permanently replaces the actual heart when it's impossible to find a donor heart. Time names a personal computer the man of the year. Hey, you were the person of the year too. In 2006, Time named everyone the person of the year. Add this to your resume. China reaches a population of 1 billion. It was the first country to reach this number. India would hit its billion in 2000. 1983. A movie ticket costs 3 bucks. The beginning of the internet era. A new internet protocol was activated, and researchers began to create the network of networks. The first cell phone is launched. It was a model from Motorola and needed about 10 hours to fully charge. Afterwards, you could talk for a whole 30 minutes. Star Wars Episode 6 – Return of the Jedi releases. It was almost named Revenge of the Jedi, but George Lucas decided that Jedi should not seek revenge. The Sith, on the other hand, the lowest temperature on Earth is recorded. The temperature reached minus 128 degrees Fahrenheit at the Vostok station in Antarctica. Microsoft Word 1.0 was released. However, it wasn't successful for another seven years until Word 3.0 was released. 1984. A gallon of gasoline cost $1. The first Apple Macintosh goes on sale. Early Mac had only the memory of 128 kilobytes. Today, even an iPhone photo uses more. The first untethered walk in outer space. Bruce McCandless took a step out of the spacecraft using only his jet backpack without any attached umbilicals. 
the release of Tetris. It was also the first video game played in space, after a cosmonaut took his Game Boy and a Tetris cartridge with him on a space mission. Metallica releases the album Ride the Lightning. The name of the album was a phrase from Stephen King's The Stand that one of the band members was reading. Princess Diana gives birth to Prince Harry. His actual name is Henry, with his full name being Henry Charles Albert Davis. Harry is his nickname. The Transformers pilot releases. The series was created to accompany the launch of a toy line. 1985. A McDonald's extra value meal costs $2.59. Whitney Houston releases her debut album. In the USA, the album didn't receive much attention at first, but it was successful abroad. The launch of the Discovery Channel. Now the channel exists in 170 countries. Route 66 is removed from the USA highway system after many highway reconstructions. When it was established, Route 66 stretched from Chicago, Illinois to Santa Monica, California. Back to the future releases. The time machine was supposed to be a refrigerator. The first Nintendo home game console is launched in North America. With that release, the video game market that had crashed was restored. The release of Windows 1.0. Bill Gates and Steve Jobs both stole, I mean borrowed, the idea for the computer mouse from Xerox PARC. So Microsoft and Apple each developed their own flavor of the graphical interface most of us use today. 1986. A 1.5 ounce Hershey bar costs 40 cents. The Mir space station is launched. It served as an inhabited research station, where the crew conducted experiments and spent months in orbit. 1987. Michael Jackson releases his seventh album, Bad. Jackson was so obsessed with the Beatles that he bought the rights to their music. Black Monday. That day, the stock market suddenly crashed. It took two years to fully recover. The world's population reaches 5 billion people. Scientists estimated we would hit 10 billion by 2050. 1988. Sending a letter costs 25 cents. Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time is published. It's a popular science book where Hawking explained basic concepts as well as black holes and time travel. 1989. A dozen eggs cost $1.22. Polly Pocket toys appear in stores. It was invented by a man who made a small dollhouse in a makeup compact for his daughter. The release of Game Boy. Since girls weren't much into video games, Game Boy was designed to appeal to them. And it worked! The premiere of Seinfeld. Jason Alexander, actor and director, said the script was so good that he didn't believe it would be successful. The launch of Lexus. An employee responsible for checking all the buttons had three sets of fake nails to make sure they'd be comfortable for all the customers. Voyager 2 passes Neptune. NASA launched Voyager 2 in 1977 to study the planets. After Neptune, the mission was extended to study interstellar space. And that's how the decade ended, passing the baton to the upcoming 90s. But I'll tell you about that sometime, sometime in the near, in the near future. future.